Hello, welcome to episode 10 in the data pack tutorial series. We're in episode, uh, version 1.21 and we're going to make a recipe where the output has some custom data. So in the last episode we made it so we could um, right click an item and detect it. But we used a give command to give the player the item. So in this episode we're going to make a recipe so the player can actually craft the item themselves. So let's get on and build it now. First thing we're going to do is I'm going to pop over to uh, Missode where we often go. How do people get on without miso? It's so much, so much easier. Right, and I'm going to want a recipe. So let's pop into recipe here. Okay. What recipe do I want? I'm going to make a shapeless one. So let's go shapeless. There we go. And I'm going to say it's going to have two ingredients. We'll have a diamond. So one of the ingredients will be a diamond and the other ingredient, something you can eat, uh, an apple will do. Apple. So we've got diamond and apple, doesn't matter where they go in the grid. Um, and we'll output an edible diamond. Well, I suppose the story here is we're getting the diamond and we're just rubbing it all over the apple. Yum, yum, yum. Right, so our result. We're going to want to, result will be a diamond again. So it's an output of diamond, but we're going to want to give it some components. So let's go in here and I'm going to give it the food component. Well, I want to give it an item name. So let's do item name first. Item name. We'll add that. Add that one. Okay. And I'm going to give it uh, custom data so we can check for its custom data. Let's add that one. And I'm going to give it a food component as well food component now i am in version 1.21 i believe in version 1.21.2 i think they've changed it so it doesn't use food anymore so keep that in mind this is version 1.21 right item name um, i'm going to change this afterwards anyway so for now i'm just going to put uh my item my item name and it will put that in for me. And I'm going to give it some custom data, which I'll change to a string. And I'll say edible true and add that. I'm going to change that as well once we copy it into VS Code. Um, I don't want any nutrition if you eat it. I don't want it to give you saturation. I do want them to always be able to use it. So that's going to be true. And I want to set the eat seconds to something really high. One million should be enough. So one and six zeros and we should be good with that okay it looks all right so let's copy that you can press the little copy button copy okay I've copied that let's go over to vs code here we are in our basic sort of bare bones data pack if you don't know how to make this one check out episode one and i don't have the tick function because we're not using it right i'm going to go into my namespace and right click and add a new folder recipe I'm going to go into recipe and add a new file and let's call it edible item will do edible tem no an edible item and it will be of type dot json and I'll paste in the command uh, the recipe that I just made Boom. now we've got two problems here these are the bits we're going to change let's change edible true first because that's easy or easier We'll put a bracket at the beginning. It adds the extra one. We're going to remove that. And I'm going to put a bracket at the end. Like so. And then I'm going to remove that speech mark there and move it to there. Oh, <laughs> to there. There we go. So now that one's happy. So have a look at how we've changed it. We've got encased in curly brackets. Edible is encased in speech marks and true is just by itself. And now I'm going to change the item name. And I'm basically going to put in a JSON component. I believe it's or, or, or a JSON style. I never get the terminology correct. I'm awful. So I'm going to have curly brackets. I'm going to remove that end one. I don't want that one. Okay. And in there, I'm going to have some text. And I'm going to have a color. You see, it doesn't like it at the moment. And I'm also going to make it bold. So let's do 
bold equals true color equals uh, green green and the text will be a uh, tasty diamond and you can see that it still is not happy it doesn't like it now the problem is what we have to do is we have to escape these speech marks so we need to put in one of those so we'll put one there we'll put one there and we're going to put one on every single speech mark inside this like so so every single speech mark inside the curly brackets is getting one of those little slashes and we can see that it's still not happy so i'm going to go outside the curly brackets and i'm going to add speech mark there and a speech mark at the end okay so we've got bold equals we got this one here is a problem and by the look of it i've put a full stop there instead of a comma and now we have it being happy okay so this is just like sort of json format when you're using the commands normally but we have to escape with a little backslash there that looks good let's save that Control s let's pop over to minecraft here we are let's change our view i remembered the button and let's do a reload okay now i've already got myself a crafting table planned ahead let's put that down and it's shapeless so they should, as long as they're both in there it should be able to go anywhere yeah it doesn't matter we can move them around and we get our tasty diamond cool let's right click it and nothing's happening well because we haven't added any of the extra stuff that was the last data pack but let's just do a data get from entity myself from my selected item let's have a look at it and um, we can see yeah, well, we know the item name works. We can see it's got the saturation, the can always eat, and it's got the custom data of edible 1B. So that all seems good. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to get the data pack from last episode. Let's do data pack list. It's not there. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to get the data pack from last episode and drop it into the data pack folder. So. I've dropped it in. If I do data pack, let's see if it can find it. List. Ah, there we go. We've got one data packs available. So that is the data pack we made in episode nine. And I've now dropped it into the data packs folder, but it's not enabled. Now I could just do reload. Okay, so and now we see episode 10. Has loaded and episode 9 is loaded so I should fingers crossed be able to right click with my diamond and I try to eat the diamond cool so last time as I said we made the right click detection and this time we made a crafting recipe so the player can craft the item themselves because you don't want them to be running the give command you want them to go out into the world and find stuff there we go little quick one we're making our way I think next episode what we'll probably do is we'll do something a bit more complicated. We'll grab sort of everything we've done so far, maybe a bit of block tag list, a macro. We'll do some, uh, we'll do a recipe. We'll do right click detection and put maybe mix it all up together and do something that we can actually use in a game. Right. Anyway, for now, I'm waffling. I'm sorry. I'm keeping you. Take care. Have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Yum, 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 yum.